you gave your delegates a crowd pleaser. They all cheered and clapped. You've put the idea and the possibility of a second uh, Scottish referendum back on the table. But you don't really want one, do you? Because you haven't got the money to go it alone. This is just part of trying to get the best out of Brexit, isn't it? Well, I, I want Scotland to be independent. I don't think there's any secret about that. But right now, and, and let me focus on the, the here and now, I'm, like many people, very, very worried about the implications of Brexit, uh, the impact on jobs, on living standards, on the economy overall, on trade, investment, and our place in the world. And I want to try to protect Scotland from those consequences. So I've set out how we're going to try to do that. Firstly, we'll try to work with other parties in the House of Commons to steer the UK as a whole away from a hard Brexit, because I don't think there's any mandate to take the UK out of the single market. We'll also put forward proposals to Theresa May that would enable Scotland to stay in the single market, even if the rest of the UK wants to leave, to allow us to protect our economy. Uh, but if none of that works, and I can't make that work unilaterally, I would have to have the agreement of Theresa May. Uh, but if none of that works, and of course Scotland has to have the option of choosing a different path, because when we voted in the independence referendum two years ago, we were voting for a UK that we thought was going to stay in the European Union and in the single market, not one that was coming out with all of these impacts on our economy. So this is first and foremost about protecting Scotland's interests, especially since, of course, Scotland didn't vote to leave the EU. Well, we voted did, by a Nicola. significant a margin to stay in. To leave. So trying to protect Scots us from these implications leave, is they? what matters. A million Scots did vote to leave. What about uh, them? Absolutely, of course. Uh, of course he did, yes, but... Oh, he, well, absolutely. And, you know, I think many of them right now will be looking at the antics of Boris Johnson and David Davis at some of the horrible xenophobic rhetoric coming out of the Tory party conference last week and thinking that's not what I voted for. But, you know, yes, a million Scots voted to leave, but 62 percent of those who voted in Scotland voted to remain. So it was it was a clear and decisive result. And as First Minister of Scotland, well, firstly, of course, I respect the result of the referendum in other parts of the UK, but I'm the First Minister of Scotland and I've got a duty to respect the result in Scotland. But also, and more importantly than that, to try to protect Scotland from being taken off a cliff edge economically, which I think is what we're facing right now. The UK, if it comes out of the single market, is, I, I think, at risk of stepping off that cliff. And I don't want Scotland to suffer those consequences. I, I don't want the UK as a whole to suffer those consequences. So we'll work to try to yeah. avoid removal from the single market. As I say, we'll put forward proposals to try to keep Scotland in the single market. But if all of that fails, I think it's important that the option for Scotland of choosing a better future, one where we can control our own destiny and build our own prosperity and security, does stay on the table. <laughs> Uh, Nicola Sturgeon, apologies, there is a huge delay, so I don't want to interrupt you because it's so complicated when we start interrupting each other and it doesn't serve any purpose. You want to talk about respecting voters uh, and reverting, uh, respecting the people of Scotland. The most recent opinion poll says that 47% are against a new independence referendum. I tweeted to a few of my followers this morning what would they think, and a lot of them have come back. This is Mags. Some certainly are absolutely behind you in saying, yes, we need another one, but Mags is saying the SNP need to get on with a job in hand, dealing with education and the NHS. Our economy is suffering at the moment. And there are big problems, as Kate was saying at the moment, with your spending deficit. £15 billion pounds is huge. And we mean the UK, Scot the Scottish economy is the worst performing. And actually, that's the priority for many of your Scottish voters. All of these things are priorities and on health and education. Uh, that's my job and I get on with that job each and every day. If you listen to my conference address uh, tomorrow, it will be focusing on what we're doing to raise standards in our schools, to improve the health service. The health service is actually better performing in Scotland than it is in any other part of the UK right now. And we want to get our economy growing even faster. I have already announced a capital acceleration programme to try to mitigate the impact of Brexit, new schemes to help businesses grow and there'll be more of that in my speech tomorrow. But this is about how do we best protect our future. And at the moment, Brexit is a real risk to our economy, not just in Scotland, right across the UK, and a real risk to many of the things we're trying to do. So this is about how do we protect Scotland from that. I don't pretend that, you know, taking uh, the, the path of independence will be without its challenges. I'll have uh, questions to answer. That case has to be made and it has to be won. But equally, I, I don't think as First Minister I can simply stand back and shrug my shoulders 
while Scotland, against our will, is taking down a path that will be seriously uh, damaging to our economic interests. So this is about how I try to protect Scotland from that. Uh, and of course, there'll be a, a difference of opinion in Scotland and elsewhere in the UK about how we do that. And I've got a duty to try to bring people together. Actually, a, an opinion poll yesterday, I don't know if it's the same one you're referring to, uh, showed that if uh, people thought they were facing the, the hard Brexit that the Prime Minister appears to be talking to, a majority of people in Scotland actually think we should have the option of okay. another referendum. So what I'm doing is protecting Scotland's ability to make that choice, if that choice Nicola, is what we, we have to make to give ourselves the best uh, prospects for the future. The £350 million a week we send to the EU, which we will no longer send to the EU, can you guarantee that's going to go to the NHS? No, I can't. And I, and I would never have made that claim. That was one of the mistakes I think, think that, that the Leave campaign made. What Hang I, on a moment. That was one of your adverts. Well, it wasn't one of my adverts, I can assure well, you. Well, that was one of the Leave campaign's adverts. 